the Chinese symbol for long life on every wall. I think I finally understand the old Baron's interest in Lu. Even with all his safeguards, how could the Baron prevent his being buried alive? How could he outwit death? With Lu's elixir of life. You thought he might have succeeded in his quest after all, eh, Baron? If we could uncover a sample, or even the formula, you could duplicate it in your secret laboratory. It's the kind of dream every man flirts with when the road shortens and the end is near. But that's all it is. A dream. And a waste of time. Better to face our mortality, I think. To live the years we're granted as fully as This ceramic mask is, I believe, to be placed over Lu's tablet to indicate what portion of the tablet must be deciphered. It was sent to me by a Japanese gentleman I employed in Shanghai to seek out any information on the first emperor's tomb. He wrote that it was found in a curio shop and obtained quite cheaply. I've heard nothing further from him. His silence is troubling. If he has come to realize the true import of this key and how it relates to the tablet in the Hall of Classics, who knows whom he may tell. The Japanese imperialists would dearly love to get their hands on the Emerald Seal. I grow increasingly weak, I'm afraid, so you, the one reading this, may now understand the lengths I went to to take my knowledge to the grave with me. If you do acquire the Emerald Seal, I beg of you, don't turn its power to world domination. Find it in your heart to use the seal only in the name of good. Then I can sleep my long sleep in peace. Signed, Otto, 6th Baron von Seltzum. I'll do my best, Baron. I promise you. So this is the key at last, an overlay for Lou's tablet. With the three scripts and this key, I now have everything I need to learn the secret of Master Lou's tablet. Now, how the heck do I get you down? Guten Tag, Horst. Guten Tag, Herr Ripley. I also have a special parcel to send to New York. Special? A turtle of distinction. And I've packed lots of his favorite treats in with him for the long journey home. Handle with care. Auf jeden Fall, Herr Ripley. I'd like to book passage. Auf jeden Fall, Herr Ripley. Und where will you be traveling? Hey, Ping. Sehr gut, mein Herr. When will you be ready to leave? Now. Auf Wiedersehen. May, any luck with our travel permits? Yes, I have them. Here is the translation of the script you found in the temple. The Chinese was literal. I suppose so specific characters could be matched up next to their Sikamese equivalent. Then all we need is to decipher Master Lu's tablet and find a way into the tomb. Did you arrange for the necessary equipment and labor for the excavation? It was impossible. The Japanese are everywhere. I suspect they want to be the first ones to open the tomb. What's stopping them? Xi'an province is outside their control. But once my mission was learned, I've been followed. And they are attempting to have our travel permits revoked. After all the time it took to secure them, we can't allow that. We can't tarry, May. The Baron was right. The world is on the brink of war. Nothing can stop it now. It falls to us to try and protect the seal from those who would exploit it. But even if we can reach it, how will we get into the tomb? We haven't come this far to be thwarted by a few tons of dirt. Mr. Ripley, you have several radiograms from your New York office. No time for business now, old man. We have a world to save. Together. The gatekeeper's gone.
<sighs> Come on. I don't like the looks of this. The acolyte who guarded Lou's tablet is gone as well. Careful, May. The floor is very uneven here. Robert! Stay back, May. It's the acolyte. He's dead. Shot. Watch your step. There they are, May. Script from Easter Island, Mocha Moche, and Sikkim. Yes. Push, man, five, blue, pull, man, one, red. This must be it. May, we've solved the riddle of Master Lu. I'm delighted to hear that, Mr. Ripley. My name is Quang. We've never been formally introduced. You're working for the Japanese, aren't you? You're a traitor! I'm a businessman. I work for whomever pays me. Businessman? You're nothing but a murderer for hire. No, I'm simply very good at finding things. I'm a retriever, you might say. I fetch. It's Shen Gao, my large associate here, who kills people. No. Not quite. Now. <laughs> Say, listen, you're not mad because I blew you up on Easter Island, are you? Gasoline? Fired? <laughs> These things happen. Wait a second. I've grown quite attached to some of that stuff. I think I should warn you, you're not the only one who knows martial arts. You? Heck no! If it was me, you wouldn't be in so much trouble right now. She's holding her own, but soon Shen Gao's strength and size will tell. You can't do that. A bronze gong, obviously for summoning someone from within. It's the Acolyte. He's dead. The tablet is slightly tilted. Hmm. The subsidence of the floor in this alcove has made that tablet pretty unstable. With enough effort, I suspect I could overbalance this.
Oh, Robert. In another moment... Gosh, you were swell. What about your journal? I'll have a look. I can see it in the gap between the tablets, but it's too far in to reach.